just got here a very special package all the way from Germany. There's a puzzle in here. Okay, okay, let's just open it up. I'm so excited. All right, all right, I see, I see news. Oh my God, there it is. Oh my God, there it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait. Look at what is in here. It is my 9,000 piece minions puzzle. Okay, let me get it out. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh my God, oh my God, there it is. I'm so excited to do this puzzle. You have no idea. I can't believe I have it. It's here, it's here. Look at all the pieces. Ah! One eternity later. So I filmed all of that on September 26th. It is now February 5th, so it's been a minute, but today is finally the day. Today is the day that I'm starting the 9,000 piece Minions puzzle. So in a video last year, I had talked about wanting this puzzle, but it was never sold in the US. It was only sold for the European markets. So I was looking into all these different ways of like importing it from like Amazon Germany or something. But then I heard from a viewer named Lisa who had one that she was willing to sell me. So we worked that out and now I have the 9,000 piece Minions puzzle. So this is the first 9,000 piece puzzle that I've done in 10 years. When I was in college, I did the 9,000 piece astrology puzzle, also by Ravensburger, but I really have not done one that big since then. Like when I did the 24,000 piece puzzle, because of space constraints, I had to do it in 6,000 piece sections. So technically, this is a bigger puzzle than each section of the 24,000 piece puzzle. Okay, so speaking of sections, if I were to buy this one new, I believe that it would have come in two 4,500 piece bags. And you can actually see in a lot of the Ravensburger 9,000 piece puzzles, they have kind of a line down the center where you can see where the break would be so that you know, there's nothing super important going across that line so that they have a little bit of wiggle room in getting the two sides to match up. But since this puzzle has been done before, both sections are already mixed together and I would have mixed them together anyway, but since I bought it secondhand, like I really have no choice. I have to do it all in one go. So here is a close up of the pieces. Um, this is made by Ravensburger, so if you've done any other Ravensburger puzzles, it's all of the same quality. The finish has a little bit of a sheen, but I wouldn't really call it glossy. We also have all of the different piece shapes represented, and the printing looks really sharp, really saturated, super high quality. Okay, so this is a very large puzzle. Let's, uh, do a little math. <laughs> That's kind of where you have to start when you're planning such a big puzzle. So the finished puzzle is going to be 78 by 57 inches. That is about six and a half feet long by about four foot nine tall. So it's basically the same length as my dining room table, but with a bit of overhang over the sides. So obviously I had built that large puzzle board for the 6,000 piece sections of the giant puzzle. And I thought about just cutting more foam board and sort of adding on to it, but I would have had to do a lot of cutting, figured out a lot of math to get all of the pieces the exact right size. So instead I bought a new box of foam board and I'm just gonna make a new larger puzzle board. So this one can be basically three by three. And then for the ones on the end, I just have to cut off 10 inches. So, <laughs> all right, let's head out to the dining room and get started on that.
Oh man, ah, that's all of them. Look at how many pieces this is. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh my God. <laughs> so this puzzle board ended up a little larger than what I was picturing in my head. This is a giant puzzle. I'm running into some issues of being able to access the kitchen. I guess I have to do this really fast because this is taking up a lot of space in my apartment. But this is really exciting. It feels like the start of the first section of the 24,000 piece puzzle where I really had no idea how long it was gonna take me. I can estimate how long the sorting is going to take because when I did the 6,000 piece sections, it took an average of four and a half hours per 6,000 pieces. So if I did my math right, that means that it should take about six hours and 45 minutes to do all the sorting for a 9,000 piece puzzle. So I'm definitely not doing that all in one go. I'm not doing that all today. I figure I'll do a little bit today and then just work on it on and off over the next few days. And I have gathered all of my supplies. So I have four bottoms of other Ravensburger puzzles. I also grabbed the two pieces of poster board, which were so useful when I was doing the 6,000 piece puzzles. And then for this box, there's actually this little like lip around it, which is what keeps the top of the box on, but I can take those out and then I can use this for sorting and I can also use the box top for sorting because they actually give you a, I was going to say I can use the box top because they give you a giant poster. So I was thinking I'd use this to refer back to, but I almost feel like it's a little too big like I already have a lot of things going on in this area. So I might just use the top of the box for reference and not actually use the poster. But anyway, I know that you're all eager to see me actually start working on the puzzle. So let's get started on all of the sorting. sorting later and it barely even looks like I've made a dent in this pile of pieces. All right, I just finished turning over all of the pieces. So I have officially now touched all 9,000 pieces. And I think I've pulled out all of the edges. I'm so tempted to just get started on those, but no, I'm gonna finish the sorting. I'm gonna do it in order. <laughs> sorting is officially done. That was a marathon. That was so much work. I need a nap. Oh man, today's the day that I'm actually gonna start putting the puzzle together. I did the sorting over three days and then I had to take a few days off to work on a different video, but now I am back to it and I'm so excited. So I do want to be totally upfront. I did have a little bit of help with the sorting. I sorted 8,997 pieces. My friend Valentina sorted three pieces. So, you know, really a team effort here. 
But okay, it took me almost exactly seven hours to do all of the sorting. So let's take a look at what we have. So here in the middle, these are all the edge pieces. Then we have white pieces, gray, kind of tan skin, like human skin colored pieces. This is hair. This is just the little plaid skirt. Uh, this is dark pieces and miscellaneous pieces. And this is the pile that got the biggest towards the end of the sorting. Over here, we have all of the minion pieces and there are a lot of them. Then we have pink and purple and lime green and teal. And then in this box, I may have made a mistake by putting all of the blue pieces in the blue box. Uh, there is so much blue in this puzzle. Look at how many pieces that is. Like they just keep going all the way down to the bottom. Luckily, there are lots of different shades and textures. So I will be able to resort these later on to make it a little more manageable. I swear during the sorting at times, it literally just felt like I was separating blue pieces from everything else. <laughs> and like my sorting is not perfect, you know, I have quite a large miscellaneous pile, but I think it is easy to drive yourself crazy trying to get everything, like trying to recognize where every single piece goes. And before you've started putting it together, you're just not gonna know and understand every texture of the puzzle, especially for such a large puzzle like this. So, okay, let's take a closer look at the box. Here is the game plan. This is the order that I think I'm gonna try to do everything. First will be the edge, of course, then all the pink pieces, then all the purple pieces, then lime green, then white, then gray, then all of the skin, then all of the miscellaneous and dark pieces, which is probably all of these photos in the frames, then the minions, and then all of the blue pieces. I actually think the minions themselves are gonna be one of the most difficult parts of this puzzle because visually every single one looks so similar to each other because they're all the exact same color. They're wearing the same texture. Like a few of them have on different accessories, but for the most part, I think it's gonna be very difficult to sort all of that out. So that's why I'm leaving it towards the end. And I decided to start with the brightest colors. I think that'll help me just start working out the framework of everything. And here's a little secret. I actually already started working on the puzzle. I already put together one tiny little section and I did that because I want to be able to show you the scale between the box and the puzzle itself. So grabbing a ruler, this guy's straw hat is, if we look at the bottom of it, probably about half an inch long, really small, not a substantial part of the image. But then here it is put together as the puzzle and it is a full four inches long. So that is our scale. Half an inch becomes four inches. So anyway, it is Friday morning right now. I have nothing on my to-do list for today, Saturday, and Sunday, except work on this puzzle. So let's see how far I can get after three days of straight puzzling. I'm so excited to just have all the windows open, like look at the weather forecast of what LA has been like lately. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs>
All right, it's been about an hour and a half and the edge is finished, mostly. I am missing a purple piece, but I'm about to take all of the pink and purple pieces out of this box. So hopefully I'll find it in here. And then I'm also maybe missing two blue pieces, but <laughs> this is all just like a solid blue. So there's a chance that something in here could be wrong and I just have to like rearrange things or maybe I'm just missing two pieces like I'll figure it out eventually I'm not too worried about that part quite yet but this is so fun so far I'm loving this puzzle I'm so happy that I figured out a way to get it all the way from Europe I don't know why they didn't release it here this is such a fun puzzle Oh man, it is about 4 p.m. That was a very full day of puzzling, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. So here is all of the progress that I made. I think that is perfectly respectable for day one. We can see a lot of purple going on over here. And then just like I planned, all of this bright pink and the bright yellow. So over here, you can really see like the shape of the puzzle coming into view. Tomorrow, I'm going to tackle all of these white pieces, all of these gray pieces, and all of the skin pieces. Oh, that sounds so gross. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> and then if I have time, we'll see how it goes. I might start tackling the miscellaneous box. So stay tuned. I have a full weekend of puzzling still ahead of me.
minions are watching you. <laughs> That's so creepy. Their eyes are too big. All right, so it is just after 4 p.m. So that was another completely full day of puzzling. I think I got quite a lot done. Here it is. So the problem with doing such a giant puzzle is that there's so much empty space, but everything I have put together was actually quite a lot of pieces. I've probably done a good 2,000 pieces so far, something like that. Also, since it's such a huge puzzle, my normal camera, it's like really hard to get the whole thing in frame. So I keep having to use the wide angle lens on my phone, but here it is. Check out all that progress. So here's the problem though. I've done all of the easy parts, like everything I had originally separated out, all of the bright colors, all that's left over here are, is like all these blue pieces, all the minion pieces, and then um, a lot of miscellaneous pieces. So I'm trying to think about where I should go next. I could do all of the minions. That, that would probably take an entire day, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I was also thinking about doing all these wires in between the frames. That's something easy that I could pull out, and that would give me a lot of new spots all over the board. And then, of course, I can try to finish up all the frames. I've definitely done all of the easy parts already. I think it's only gonna get more and more difficult from here. Good morning, everyone. So it is actually Monday. I needed a little bit of a break yesterday, so I didn't film. I just did a bit of sorting off camera. So I decided that my next step should be all of the minions. So if you remember that huge box of minions pieces, 
This is all of them sorted out. So I'm going to start with all of the eyes. Uh, not gonna lie, it's a little bit creepy. Then over here, I have more pieces with yellow on them. Down here are pieces with just denim. Then these are pieces with both yellow and denim. This is the group photograph of all of the little minions. You can see that's like this, and then also probably some of this. And then these are pieces that were either missorted, and now I know where they go, or they have enough of a color on them where I think I can just put them in right away. So I'm gonna start with this pile of pieces. Let's get them all in place. All right, so I actually think that's where I'm going to wrap it up for the day. I think this video is getting far long enough. So make sure that you're subscribed and that you have notifications turned on because as soon as I finish editing this video, I'm gonna get right back to work on the puzzle and start working on part two. And I will be starting off part two with the ground running. I'll be able to just put together all of the minions all across the puzzle. So before I go, I just want to plug my Patreon because that is what is really making me feel better about doing giant puzzles like this. You know, I've already invested over 21 hours into just this one single puzzle, like not even counting all of the prep time and then all of the editing time. So if I'm taking on bigger projects like this, it really helps to know that I have a set amount that I'm getting paid from the Patreon even if I have to skip a video or two over the next few weeks as I'm working on this huge puzzle. So over on Patreon, I've been posting all kinds of bonus content and everybody at $3 a month and above, everybody gets all the same perks. And I just wanna say an extra special thank you to everyone who has already signed up over there. I am just so, honored that you think this type of content is valuable enough to support with your hard-earned money. So, all right, speaking of the amount of time that I've put into this so far, I'm of course going to do a complete stats breakdown once I finish the entire puzzle. But for now, here is the amount of time that I have spent on each section so far. So as I said, the sorting took about seven hours. The edge was about an hour and a half. And then doing the middle so far has been about 13 hours. So altogether, that is a little bit more than 21 hours <laughs> to get to the point that I'm at right now. And it's crazy that all of this has really been only two days of puzzling. So, all right, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this puzzle or the process of doing such a large puzzle, and I can try to answer them in the next video. And also feel free to let me know what is the biggest puzzle that you have ever finished. And is it something that you enjoyed? So your code word for the comments will be Minion. I wish the code word could be the name of one of these characters, but I've never seen the Minions movies, so I don't know what anyone's name is. No, I think the, the evil guy, isn't his name Gru? I saw the first Despicable Me like 10 years ago. I might be wrong on that, I don't know. Anyway, if you wanna see me take on more giant puzzles, I'm going to link the 24,000 piece puzzle playlist right down below. So happy puzzling, and I will see you all in the next one.